Welcome, Gemini, to your numerology reading for September. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back, all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you, Gemini. You have 48, financial discipline, and 14, moderation, and learning. 25 break, breaks down to 7. So... With the moderation will come the change, because 1 plus 4 is 5. And then you have 12, right? 4 plus 8 is 12, breaking down to 3. So you have a lot of ones that are talking about this new beginning and the new understanding through moderation of your financial discipline. So going over here to the financial discipline, this is talking about the needs for, for you to build a strong foundation for your future. You are constantly surrounded by opportunities to attract the abundance. However, you must follow up with the action if you wish to see any kind of a result. Um, making sure that you are saving the money that you need to save, putting away the money, maybe as pillow money somewhere else. Um, I know I have saved money and pillow money. So my pillow money is pretty much the money that I use um, in case of a rainy day. And I also have a thing called fun money. So I break my money into like four different areas <laughs> um, because I really needed the financial discipline. So um, I like to go out and do things with my kids, so yes, I have fun money, um, mostly for the spring and summertime when they're out of school, um, and when we can go to the movies, do things. Um, but yeah, having the financial discipline through the moderation. Now, using it moderately is that self-control in every area of your life, and of course, we're talking about the financial discipline, so you need to have that self-control. Um, like I said, saving that money, putting some money away for a rainy day, however it works for you to go on that cruise, um, money in case something breaks, right? How about that? Um, then we can't say, well, we don't have the money to fix that. Maybe we have some of it, but we don't have, you know, but at least there's something there, um, right? So you're learning, you're learning financial discipline with moderation and learning to spend your money moderately. So saving it moderately and spending it moderately. So there is a lot of self-control and self-discipline that comes through financial discipline. Okay. Let's see what's going on over here. In learning, of course, you can watch, you know, shows. When I was doing it, I was watching shows on uh, YouTube about snowballing and avalanching and all those things and then figuring out which one was best for me. Um, I... Personally, like the snowballing better than the avalanche because it just seemed like it was going nowhere if I took off, you know, this huge bill and all these tiny ones were sitting there. It kind of get it kind of got on my nerve, right? So I did try avalanching at first, but then I hated it. It felt like I was doing nothing. Um, so the snowball, at least I could watch the small ones go away, the small debts go away. Um, that's if you guys have debts. Um, at least I could watch them go away and then take that money that was left over and put it towards the next bill and then also put some away for, you know, either saved or food or whatever you need. Right? So you could take that small amount and then put the rest to the next bill. And then I watched that one fall, literally fall. Um, and so at least then I could watch bills go away. I felt like with the avalanching, sorry, my car bill was so high, but there's just no way, you know, and watching it fall. You know, by 50, 60, 200 dollars or something. It just didn't seem like it was going anywhere. So if you guys like actually watching money fall away and bills go away, I think snowball would be the best. So and they have some great people on YouTube who can teach you how to do that. Of course, I use tarot as well to help me. So like I said to someone else who had this same kind of idea going on over here, I think it was Sagittarius. But they teach you how to do that. But I can't, I don't think I can do it during general. It would have to be personal. But it's a lot. So it's, it's a lot. Okay, so traveling. Your life purpose involves traveling. So if you're really traveling a lot, you're going to have to have travel money. Right? You want to travel. There's a lot of you that's saying, I want to travel. My life involves traveling. It's my heart's desire. That's where I want to be. So that's for some of you. 
for others of you, the travel there just means really traveling and learning to get to this, this new way of seeing things, moderately spending, okay? It's going to help you out enough. And the next word, one out, is trust. Trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. So wanting to trust yourself during this learning process, even if it seems hard or it seems like it's never going to happen, how am I going to put away $5 when I barely have $5? You can put away $5. I felt the same way, <laughs> right? I felt the same way. How am I going to put away this $5, right? If I barely even can do it, but you do, and the next thing you know, and if you can't do $5, do 50 cents. It builds, right? Kind of like the kid that keeps picking up pennies and all of a sudden he's like, look, mommy, I have $2. You're like, what the heck? Did you get $2? I found them on the ground. It's just money builds and builds. So trust in the process. Trust in yourself. Hedgehog, be a magnet for love, light, and joy. So making sure that you're keeping it joyful. Don't let it become a stressful thing. Think of it, you're doing it for your family. You're doing it for yourself. You're doing it for your heart's desire. You're doing it so that you can travel. You can have the things that you want. After the process is over, you're going to be like, whoa. Actually, once you get into the discipline, you'll find that things go a lot better after they start rolling. Once it becomes this moderate thing and you're used to doing it and it becomes a habit, it just builds and builds and builds. And you watch the bills fall and fall and fall. But you have to watch the way you spend. Otherwise, you're spending more than you make or you keep spending, um, then you're not going to see any progress, right? That's the truth. I live in my truth. So live in your own truth. You know what the truth is, right? Surrender. All is well, I surrender to my inner guidance. So just surrender to it because once surrendering to it, look at that, it comes to playfulness. My joy is the greatest gift I give to others. Once you start the process and you start doing what you're supposed to be doing, you know, you have that pillow money or you have whatever you have, guys. Next thing you know, you are playing. And without worries. Without any kind of worry because you have the extra money. So people will be like, well, you know, do you want to touch this? Or you'll be like, no. No. I have my own pillow money. I have my own fun money. I have the money. Right? So that way when you do have to go out and do something, you know, you're not like, we can't do that, or um, I don't have the money to do that, right? No, you can actually enjoy yourself while playful. Enjoy yourself while you're out, because you have that money, you don't have to worry about using that credit card or worrying about the funds that you have or any of the above. You know what you have, you take that with you, and you use it. And you say, this is all I have. I have $300 to go have fun, that's it though. You know, and you really give that to that, you know, and that's it. But don't, you know, it, it's cool because we're going to have fun, right? So that's that discipline. No overspending, right? This is what I have. We're going to have a good day. Okay, let's see what Tarot has to say. That keeps everything alive. This brings in new opportunities from fleeing from anything, you know, that was holding you back. Bring in a new cycle. Surrendering and bringing in this new cycle of change in the way that you're perceiving money, accepting money. And um, there is a, not only just discipline, but there is also a respect, right? You have to have like a respect because you can only have so many funds, right? So if we want to have playful times and go out and have, and have fun and enjoy ourselves, but we still have to respect, right? That we can only, you know, we only have so much at this time, right? Money comes and goes. We all know this. But if I only have this, then I have to use it in moderation. That moderation will bring in the cycle that's best for you. And it will help you, look at that, bring in more money. Bring in new things. Helping you build. Okay. It's like building an empire over here. 
Okay, my friends. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.